official, Abdul Herrera is leaving Manchester United after five years to join PSG. Manchester United, hang your heads in shame. Hey guys, World of Lewis here, and today we've got another video for you guys. And as you can see by the title, it is indeed Manchester United versus Cardiff. It's last game of the season, nothing to play for. We're in the Europa League next season, and let's just try and finish it off with a win. And let's look at some facts about our visitors this afternoon. And let's look at the form guide going into today's game. And now for team news, starting with United, with nothing to play for, it remains to be seen which 11 players start this game this afternoon. It will be great to see some youth blended in with experience as we say goodbye to what has been a very disappointing season. And as for Cardiff, as long as they field 11 players, have not really bothered. And today's referee is Jonathan Moss. And now for the weather forecast, down at Old Trafford this afternoon. So that's the four team news and all the information. Other than that, kickoff is three o'clock. Go to Fat Jackets. Claude will be there. Saxon might be there. Everyone else should be there. So yes, guys, let's do this on the last match day vlog of the season. Come on, United! Let's head on the bridge. Let's head to Old Trafford. Guys, today's match prediction. What do you start? I'm going 2 0 United. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah. I'm going 2 0 United too. Um, I think Greenwood's starting. I want to see him score. That's should start and I should expect him to score. I'm going 2 0 United. Right, guys, here's today's starting 11. So we've got De Gea, Dallo, Smalling, Jones, Young, Andreas, McTominay, Pogba, Lingard, Rashford, and Greenwood. On the bench, we've got Romero, Valencia, Fred, Garner, Gomez, Mata, Martial. Mix of youth in there. Can we sign off with a win? Right, guys, no selection on today. We don't know where he is, but Claude's here. Let's have a chat with him. Almost as cool as me today. <laughs> you alright? Good. Good man. Good yeah, man. Neither sound too hot. Uh, yeah, I bet you are. I'm, I'm just bet. hot, man. <laughs> you know? hot. I'm just hot. Let's go off for young man. Yeah. I can't believe it's the final game of the season. I know. Yeah. Are you Drink back here for the legends? Uh, I, more than likely, yes. Yeah. I've ordered gear for it. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, I've ordered gear for it. Yeah. Um, but it just depends on the playoffs because I've got the playoffs. But I'm, I'm hoping that Mansfield go through. Yeah. So I work Mansfield. But I could also work Villa. I don't know. But I worked Villa last year. Yeah. And it was rubbish. <laughs> and, you know. So if they get their two years running, a lot of people will still have the gear from yeah. the previous year. So you know, I'm, 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 my fingers are crossed for Mansfield. That's what I'm hoping. But yeah, I'm more than likely be here okay. on the uh, on the Sunday. Like I said, I've ordered gear and everything, and then. Got the Cricket World Cup. Yeah. That's coming up. Yeah. Uh, and the Trembridge Friday, actually. Yeah. It's, uh, it's uh, one day international on Friday. I'm stumped. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to bail me out on that one. Yeah. Anyway, there's, there's lots, of, lots of cricket jokes. Like, yeah, yeah, what yeah, are our yeah. predictions for today? Yeah, keep them, keep them, keep them. Uh, uh, a completely irrelevant prediction for today. Completely irrelevant. But nothing. hopefully they're going to go out in style yeah. today. And I'm going for 2 0. Ah, uh, we've gone for 2-0. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going, that's what I'm going yeah, for. Good yeah, call, I'm good going call. for 2-0. So, okay. yeah, hopefully, hopefully I win, you know, in style. In style. They've, got, style. Come on, they've got a final game, they've got to put in some effort. <laughs> Surely. Surely. Well, some of them will be fighting for the futures, won't they? they some are, of the yeah. players, you know. Yeah. So, Young lads have too much problem. Right, guys, let's get some badges. Match day one. They're this one. Oh, <laughs> 
Got it matched day one, and I've got it at all. Like, you know, I've hardly even, even thought about this today. Uh, Greenwood's but... playing up front. Uh, oh, right, okay. Lingard, Greenwood. As long as we finish on a positive note, yeah. I'll be happy. Yeah. Um, there's, there's not a lot else to say, is there? I'd throw the kids out on the pitch today. I'd put yeah. all the kids on the pitch. Let's have a look at them all. Yeah. And see who's going to be up and coming for yeah. next season. Yeah. Nothing to lose, right. halfway so. Just enjoy the football today, really. I'm saying 3 0 United today. Yeah. <laughs> Let's sample some atmosphere. Alright, guys. Maybe next season. Right guys, you can see behind me, Lukaku and Sanchez are on that thing. And it says United delivered. They haven't delivered this season. I find that quite If you look behind me, I haven't really got any comments on this one.
19, Alain Ganassi. Number 19, Nathaniel Lindos Lang. Old Trafford, Manchester United, and the South Korean. Number one, David De Gea. season friendly uh, what shouldn't be an end of the season friendly uh, obviously from where we were sat the penalty it looked like a lunge I don't know who it was by I'll see the replay but obviously Jonathan Moss is quick to uh, point to spot yeah we, we've had a few chances two or three chances we've hit the post made some greenwood but we're just lacking that clinical instinct up front like the other top Top four or five have got. We we, uh, we can't attack with intent. We can't punish. Uh, I even think that Jonathan Moss has had more better touches than Paul Pogba. Uh, it seems to have been coming off Jonathan Moss's body more times than uh, Pogba, who has yet again uh, not performed. Uh, nothing much to report than that. Uh, as I say, over at the post, we've come close. Yeah, they, they look a minor threat going forward, but nothing more than that, you know. We should be comfortable, but how many times have we said that this season? And we are, we are where we are, and uh, the season ends as it is. Uh, so, yeah, you get what you deserve. You make a tackle in the penalty area. If it's not timed, then it's going to be a penalty, so, yeah, 1-0. Yeah, second half does need to be better. There's no firepower up front um, to, to punish Charlie. Um, no emphasis really up there, Pop has been not very good, Nick Garth not very good. Definitely, definitely trying to get a, a win to end the season off. It's been a good, it's not been a very good season, so let's keep trying to jump with the win. But yes guys, I'll tap now on the last nil, can't see.
Look, the last couple of weeks, I went to Huddersfield last week, we drew with them, yeah. relegated side, coming here today, relegated yeah. side, we've just lost 2-0. Yeah. How, it couldn't have got any worse than this, surely? It couldn't, got, it couldn't have got any worse, to be honest. It, should, it just shows where we're at, at, what position we are at in the league table, to be honest. And if, it, and if, it's, and if we're playing like we did today, you know, if it's Cardiff, next season we're going to be a mid-table team. How do you feel that the club are going to recruit over the summer? Do you think they're going to put you know, money and invest in Ollie and his ideas uh, to get the club back to where we want to be and need to be? I don't know. I don't know. It depends what can happen. Now that we're in the Europa League, we're not going to attract any, any talent, are we, really? So, I don't know. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to be sitting up till 12 o'clock midnight looking at transfer rumours because it's a load of bubble out of it. <laughs> Lewis, I agree with you fully there, mate. Um, we saw a youngster come into the team today yep. uh, and start the game. How impressed were you with him? I was impressed. I think the youngsters do a better job than starting 11. They just they show more passion for the badge. The first team, the, after the players in the, in, the, in the team, I think do it just for the money. Like Pogba, like McNair, just do it for the money. Yeah. Obviously, in the week, in the week, well done, Lewis. In, in, the week, in the week, we saw Ander Herrera uh, being allowed to lead the football club. What did you make of that? Why is Ander Herrera? He's probably been our best midfielder for eight Ages. And why let him go on the free to PSG? He's done it for the money. No, Fair play. So he's getting nowhere near enough money as what Sanchez as, as what Sanchez gets. It's just disgraceful. The board of rubbish. Uh, and with Herrera, what is it that you know he displays? What qualities does he display that a lot of other players don't that you like? He just plays for the badge, passion, goes in for tackles. He just he just shows 110 percent every game. Lewis, if you had to sum up the season, mate, take your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sum up the season in your own words. How's it been? Because obviously you've been coming every single yeah. home game all season. Um, you know, so sum it up for me, mate. Sorry, sorry. Disgraceful. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We deserve to be where we've been. Yeah. 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 And how optimistic yeah. are you for next season? Yeah. Optimistic, it depends what happens in the transfer window. If we don't buy any players, I'm going to be the same losers I am in now. If we do some changes, then anything could happen. Anything could happen. Listen, Lewis, you have a fantastic yeah. Well done, Lewis. 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 Well done, Lewis.